The arrest of the Pope's butler and the leak of private documents has shook the Vatican household to its core. But it also raises another question. Who exactly is in the Vatican's so-called papal family? The Pope's apartment is not particularly big. It's divided into different sections where the Pope's closest collaborators live. There they work and move freely since, in essence, it's their home. Four consecrated women, who are also members of the Communion and Liberation Movement, are in charge of domestic chores. There's also the Pope's two secretaries, Alfred Schreb and Georg Geinswein. In his book, the Pope talks about celebrating daily Mass with them every day. Normally, they eat lunch together, watch the news, and sometimes see a movie. The Pope's butler, 46-year-old Paolo Gabriele, also lives nearby within Vatican walls. He, too, was in the Pope's close circle. He attended early Mass with the Pope at 7 a.m. before serving him breakfast, lunch, and dinner. He was also in charge of making sure that everything was in order at the Pope's apartment. His main responsibility, though, was to assist the Pope throughout his day. Other regular visitors who are able to come and go from the papal home are the commander of the Swiss Guard, Daniel Rudolf Andring, the inspector general of the Vatican Police, named Domenico Gianni, and the Pope's personal doctor, Patricio Polisca. Most recently, the three cardinals who were commissioned to investigate the leaks have also had access to the apartment. The cardinals include Julian Erran, Joseph Tomko, and Salvatore De Giorgi. In fact, Benedict XVI personally granted them access as they took on the investigation.